Hello, this is Emma of Emma Live Yoga and welcome to this Yoga Moon Flow. So there are many different renditions of Chandra Namaskar Salute to the Moon. I've learned very many different editions of this. Uh, this will be an abridged 10 minute version just to give you a little taste of this wonderful practice. So coming to a comfortable seated position, do you have any supports that you might need for your practice as you bring your hands to Anjali Mudra? We'll open the space for the practice with the vibration of Om, taking a breath in. Om. And gently bow in the gaze, closing the eyes. Take a few moments to tune in to all that is in the body, the mind, the emotions. As we embark on the gentle but strong energy of Chandra Namaskar. We can give ourselves permission to do less, to take different options. The planting a seed of intention, if you wish. And then taking a deeper breath in. Exhale, gently open the eyes. Releasing the hands. So we'll make our way through to Venasana or Thunderbolt pose, sitting back on the heels. If that doesn't suit you, feel free to come to a high kneeling position or down to seated. So we'll begin our flow from here, bring the hands to Anjali Mudra, connect with your Ujjayi breath, flow of the breath in the nostrils. And then inhale, bring the hands forward. Exhale, sink back into Uttita Balasana, extend the child. And just take a few breaths here, softening the shoulders, breathing into the moon side of the body for our moon flow. And then inhale, come forward, step forward with the left leg or help the left leg through. We always lead with the left in the moon flow. Exhale. So essentially coming to Anjana Asana. If you just have the right knee, please do. As you arrive here, inhale, lift the arms up. And then exhale, twist to your left side. And just staying here for a few breaths, bending into the knee. Good. Try and drop the shoulders as you stretch out through the fingertips. And then inhale as you come back to center. Exhale, bring the hands down, step back with the left leg and lower through Arpa Chaturanga to the belly. Inhale, draw the shoulders back as you lift the chest, lift into a cobra. Exhale, glide the head to look over the left shoulder. Keep this really slow and smooth. Inhale to center. No, you can be much lower than this. Exhale, glide to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, lower the body. Inhale, squeeze the pelvic floor back to tabletop. And exhale, in back to extended child. We swap over straight away. Inhale, step through with the right leg. Exhale, sink through the left hip flexor, pressing the right heel. Inhale, windmill the arms lift up. Exhale, keep weight pressing into that right heel. Twist as best you can. That might be difficult. You can always bring a hand to the sacrum. And just try and get some movement through the spine. If you're feeling a bit stiff, that's okay. Breathing, feeling, then inhale, lift up. Exhale, bring the hands down, step back. And again, we've got that low to the floor flow. Inhaling to lift. Back bend of choice. So feel free to keep it low. Exhale to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center, exhale to lower. Same transition, inhale, squeeze Mula Bandha. Exhale, push back into extended child. Now we stay for a few breaths. We're really honoring the breath. And then inhale, come through. This time, tuck the toes, exhale, push back into Ardha Mukha Svanasana or down the door. You feel you need to pedal out the heels, that spine. Lengthening and breathing, relax the head. As with the opposite side, I'm going to step through with the left leg. So on the inhale, step through with the left leg. Exhale, walk the hands over to the right and then begin to sink towards that right knee. So the toes point out to the side of the right foot, sorry, sink towards the left knee. If that feels too much, you can come up here, bring the hands to prayer. Good. 
You can bring the hands down, sink all the way if that suits your knee. If it doesn't, then stay up. A little bit of balance here. You can keep the fingertips down. We might be able to bring the hands to prayer. <laughs> you can see I'm wobbly. And if you get your balance, you can gaze towards the big toe. So steady the breath. Good. From here, bring the hands down. Turn over to the knee that's bent. Bring in the opposite knee down. Inhale, scoop the arms up, kind of into a crescent moon shape. You can bring the palms together if you wish, lift the gaze. And then exhale, bring the hands down. Step back with the right leg again, Ardha Chaturanga. Inhale to lift, up bend of choice. Exhale to left side. Inhale to center. Exhale to right. Inhale, exhale to lower. Inhale to lift and exhale back into downward dog. Settle and center. And then inhale, step through with the right leg. Walk the hands to the left side. We've got the same options. You can bend and keep it nice and high in Anjali, or you can come all the way down, draw the toes back. Maybe you can perch. Maybe you need to keep the fingertips down. Good. If you've got your balance and you're steady, breathing and look towards the big toe. Good. You can also use a brick underneath the shin just to lessen any compression through the knee. And then pivot to face the knee that's bent. Bring the opposite knee down. Inhale, lift up into your present moon shape. Optional toe tuck or not. Just see what feels best in your body. And then exhale, fall down. From here, step it back. And this time we'll exhale all the way back into child pose. Bring the arms into the sides of the body. Feel that rising energy you've created. As we've just done a little taster of the mood flow. And then bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, press up. Exhale, bring the hands to Anjali Mudra. This is how we close the practice. Gently bow the head to close. Give thanks for your practice and your help. The energy of Chandra, the moon. And then inhale to lift the gaze and exhale. So well done, everybody. Thank you for practicing with me. If you enjoyed that, you can keep coming back to it. Press the like button and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Take care.